Hi, and welcome to this overview of the NetApp Altvault Cloud Integrated Storage Appliance, the market-leading solution for protecting data to public and private cloud storage. This quick introduction will help you get acquainted with Altvault Appliance and how it addresses and modernizes data protection requirements for enterprise-scale businesses over existing data protection solutions. To begin, let's take a look at common problems that exist with traditional data protection schemes. Typically, we find that these data protection mechanisms are too slow, too expensive, too risky, and too complex. A common thread to all of these problems is the amount of data being protected. Because there's so much data and so much data growth, we're finding that traditional backup methods are too slow and can fail to meet recovery and backup windows. The cost to protect all of this data is also growing, making it much more expensive to own and use a data protection environment. The risk of managing data is also higher because, for example, if a tape is lost in your backup data set, it can prevent an entire recovery. Of course, the complexity to manage this environment grows as well, meaning more servers, more tapes, and more infrastructure. To understand better how our customers were looking to use the cloud, we took a survey and found out that the top two use cases for moving data services into cloud was for data backup and archive and disaster recovery. Many organizations are getting their first start with the public or private clouds with these two types of workloads because of the benefits that the Elastic Scalable Cloud provides. So how does Altafault fit into the equation? Altafault enables customers to securely backup or archive any data to any cloud at up to 90% lower cost compared with traditional on-premise solutions. By leveraging the scale and elasticity of the cloud, Users can store data for only as long as they need it and pay costs only for that consumption used. Altvault comes in three models, physical appliances, which range from 32 terabytes all the way up to 384 terabytes of usable local cache, virtual appliance models based on VMware, KVM, and Hyper-V, or cloud-based models that can be deployed from the Amazon or Microsoft marketplaces. By using Altvault, Users can enjoy the benefits of simple deployment, efficient reduction of data that's sent off to clouds, wide support for backup applications as well as cloud providers, and end-to-end -end security with data at rest and data in flight encryption. The Altavault ecosystem is quite broad and supports over 90% of the enterprise backup storage market, as well as all the leading public and private cloud providers. Data from the primary storage is processed through one of the backup applications or is sent via SMB, NFS, or OST to AltaVault. AltaVault deduplicates, compresses, and encrypts this data all in line using a variable length deduplication, LZ compression, and AES 256-bit encryption before it lands on the AltaVault cache. Asynchronously, it replicates a copy of this data out to public cloud for long-term protection and disaster recovery. Here are four common use cases where businesses are using the cloud to augment and improve their backup and archive strategies. First, Altavault can be used as a backup modernization play for existing or legacy tape infrastructure. By removing your existing tape infrastructure, Altavault can be used to improve your off-site capability and your DR posture. In addition, Altavault can be used to augment an existing purpose-built backup appliance solution that you may already have in your environment. Instead of increasing the amount of storage and cost associated with a purpose-built backup appliance, you can use Altavault to tear off those backups to the cloud and save that purpose-built backup appliance space for your most recent copies. In addition, you can use Altavault as a cold storage target. That is, to hold large volumes of file data that are infrequently accessed and need an inexpensive place to be stored. Finally, you can use AltaVault as an archive storage target for leading enterprise vault solutions like Veritas Enterprise Vault or as an archive target for database logs from SQL Server and Oracle RMAN. Of course, backups are only as good as their recoveries. AltaVault provides you the ability to recover to an alternate site using any physical or virtual appliance, and you can also recover data to an AltVault running as a cloud-based instance, either in Amazon or in Azure. 
By providing you maximum flexibility in your recovery options, you can improve your recovery posture and make sure that you have the ability to recover your data where you need it and when you need it. Let's take a quick look at the Alt Default appliance models. They come in three categories, cloud-based, virtual, and physical. The models each provide a cache capability up to 384 terabytes and a cloud-supported capacity of up to five times that of the local cache capacity. Accounting for deduplication, the amount of actual data that you can send to an alt default may be up to 30 times this data amount, meaning that you can store almost 60 petabytes into an alt default AVA 800 appliance. The throughputs represent the maximum ingest throughput that you can achieve from the backup application to an alt default, which is up to 9.2 terabytes with the AVA 800 model today. Alt default can also be deployed in cold storage or archive mode. In this mode, Alt default trades cache capacity for cloud capacity, meaning that you could store a lot more data in the cloud, up to 10 petabytes with an AVA 400 appliance with only 32 terabytes of cache. Because it is assumed that Alt default will receive many small files, the performance of cold storage mode will typically be much less than in backup mode, typically up to 350 gigabytes an hour if Alt default were receiving files that were roughly 100 megabytes in size. With that, this concludes this overview of the Altafault Cloud Integrated Storage Appliance. Feel free to try the Altafault Appliance by visiting www.netapp.com slash trial.